Okay, and we're rolling. This is the uh, piston installation of the Z24K uh, Frankenstein motor for the truck. Not really Frankenstein, because it's not that different, but anyway. Uh, I already have one piston in and two piston in, and this is the third. And we're lining up. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to sneak back here. Yeah, there we are. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do here, if we can, I hope you can see that on the video. Anyway, uh, lower ring, oil ring gap right there. Center oil ring gap, which is indicated by blue, right in about the middle of the piston. If we can get it to go there and comfortably. And then top oil ring gap is right there. So one, two, three. And then you're going to have your top compression ring going up to about there and then the other compression ring let's see here I we got it wait I'm sorry that's the incorrect way aha this one's 180 okay so we have bottom oil ring so we have one two three and then bottom oil ring here and top oil ring right about there so we've got about 180 degrees but not directly across the piston pin area and we'll kind of situate that and then you're going to put it in the thing and I'm going to go check the book just to make sure I just said that right yeah top ring is up to the right so now we're good with that so grab our ring clamp our ring compressor this is a cheap version but it's what I've always used and it works remarkably well so figure what the heck and of course, if you're repaired, you're supposed to uh, open it before you try and put it back on the piston after you've sunk one down. But, of course, we wouldn't do that because that'd be too easy. So we're going to do it here while we're holding the piston and trying not to F things up. Get it down so it's about, oh, you know, quarter inch or three-eighths inch above what it is. And you're going to cinch it up. When you're cinching it up, hold it back here with your thumb on that side because otherwise it's going to wind to the other direction. And just kind of get it a little bit loose tight, just, just enough to start compressing, but enough where you can still see where your gap is uh, for your piston because you don't want to get that all screwed up. Kind of weasel it around just to see what you got here. If I can find my mark, I'm going to have to loosen up a little bit. Oh shit, yeah. And try not to slide it like that because then that switches everything. There we are, okay, top gap there. Yep, that'll be alright. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now that you've got this loose fitted, uh, it's not super tight yet, um, and of course you're going to want to run some WD-40 on the inside of that too. And then you take your bearings over here, which you've already kind of gotten out, and I've never found a better way to do this unfortunately, and that's kind of because the crank's already in, and we're just going to put it in like this. And these are usually tight enough fit where they're not going to not going to drop out even when you're banging on the top of this and, and you're doing very light bangs hopefully so you don't really have to hit it with a five pound sledge to get into the bore but it does take a little bit of firm tapping I've already cleaned up the uh, cleaned up the uh, surface of the crank we'll throw a little bit of that excess simply lived down on there even though I got tons on here and then Make sure you install it with the correct, with the dot right there, dots forward or notch or whatever it is. Usually it's a dot or a notch. And you kind of just weasel this little sucker right in there and it's a pretty damn tight fit actually. Make sure you get it fairly lined up with the dot facing forward in the motor because otherwise, because you're, you're putting it down on the crank so you don't want to try and poke it in because these two are point, uh, pointed up. So if you poke it in and they're not where they're supposed to be, you can end up dinking the uh, this stuff on them. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay. Try to take me just a smidge more. So I don't want you to try and pop out a ring on me. Okay, now I've got you in there. And you're right about where I want you. 
Make sure all your edges are equal here, that you don't have a, uh, yeah, tap the edge while you still got a little bit loose. That way you don't have an oil control room that kind of tends to slide out on that side. And very slowly, I'll press it down. One thing you will have to do when you're doing on the tip, top two, you'll actually have to move the connecting rod over. You see how it started getting hard? It was actually just a little bit farther over and hit, but now, well, maybe not. Nope, I got a ring right there. Fuck. And now, you get to yank it out and try it again. The other two went pretty smooth. This one I kind of budged up a little bit.